the Feed Zone, and I have some exciting news to share with you today. We've got something really cool that you can do with issue.com by adding some free uh, links. This is totally free for you. You can add links to a clickable invitation for your hostesses. And I want to talk to you a little bit about why this is so important for your business on a few different levels. And then I'm going to show you exactly how to create that issue link. So if you're just joining us, you are going to want to share this video with your friends uh, because this is really cool and you are going to want to do this today. This is so exciting on so many different levels to be able to share this issue document, uh, clickable link. Hey, Shannon, how are you? Uh, I'm really excited to show this to you guys. So we are actually going to flip right over and uh, show you what we're talking about today and how you can do this to uh, increase your sales for November, December, and pretty much forever. Uh, so let me show you. Uh, we are going to hop on over. I am going to show you this document that I created right here. Let me flip back over and make sure that we are on the right thing. Yes, we are. Okay, so uh, here is a document right here. Actually, let's go over and show you uh, my friend who uh, posted this on her page. Uh, we are going to go to Leslie's page, who is hosting a fundraiser or hosting a 31 party. So she posted this on her page. And when you click on this, it takes you to this document. But you can see, you can actually click on, uh, it says Leslie's having a 31 party. Click here to view the catalog. And that is actually going to take them, well, I'm logged in. Let me log out. Uh, Let's go back over here. Okay, so uh, once you're logged out, it's going to take them directly to my site right there, okay? So uh, you can add clickable links. So I created click here to view the holiday items. It's gonna take them directly to the holiday items on my page. And then uh, let's click out of there. And then this one says click here for the customer special. So it takes them directly to the customer special page on my website. And then we have click here to order from Leslie's party. So they click on that and it takes them directly to Leslie's party. So this is all free to do crazy cool stuff. So let me show you another one that I created here. So Jana is having a fundraiser. And this one is view the catalog, click here, it takes them to my website, view the customer specials, click here, uh, join my customer group, click here, uh, click here to order from Janet, and then become a consultant, click here. So this one was uh, made for Janet. So I want to show you exactly how to make this, how to upload this to your own issue account, ISSUU, and add those links for free, 100% free. So here we go. We are over in canva.com. Okay. This is uh, canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. And this is also a free site where you can create all kinds of PDFs, graphics, things like that. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to do with a template. So basically, what you're going to do is create a PDF to upload to Issue. OK, so uh, you can see I have created uh, this uh, form right here and I'm going to show you from scratch how to do that so you can do this on your own. So we are going to save that one. We're going to go back over here. OK, so this is what you're going to see. Uh, when you log into your Canva account, what I want you to do is click on flyer eight and a half by 11 inch. <clears throat> so you're going to click on this. 
And you can see they have some templates here for you. So this is all I used was a template they had. And I just have to find the template that I started with. And uh, then we can go. So this right here is the template that I used. You want to make sure that you use something that is very simple. It's not too cluttered, very simple. So here we go, we have this, and now we wanna go back over here and uh, add some kind of uh, picture there, and you just um, drag it over, whatever picture you want, and then you can type in, Connie is having a 31 party. And then I always use the same exact fonts for everything. So you can change the font, you can change the spacing, and you can change the color. So we're going to do red. <clears throat> and then uh, join us and check out the holiday items okay and then we'll pull this out put that there we're gonna delete this one <clears throat> excuse me okay so join us and check out the holiday items okay there's our first page now we are going to, you can um, actually click on this copy page and now you've got your new page. So now you want to uh, edit this one and you wanna put the customer specials. So uh, upload a graphic uh, here uh, of the customer specials and we're gonna find one if I can. And, oh, where's a simple one? I'm not finding it. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that we have one already. And we're gonna say this is a customer special, although it is not. So we're gonna put that there and say, November customer specials. Um, we are going to mess with the spacing on this one. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger and put that there. And click here to view. And then you can change the colors, you can change the fonts, you can change anything that you want. Hold, click here to view. Okay, so right now we are just making the template. Okay, so this is just the template. And we're just playing, right now I'm just playing with uh, fonts and sizes. Click here to view, okay. So there we go, November customer specials, click here to view, okay? And then we're gonna copy this page. And now let's go in and say, um, what do we wanna say? We wanna say, view the catalog, maybe. Um, do we wanna view the catalog right now? I think that's what we wanna add. So we'll just find a picture to put in there and we'll put view the catalog. Click here to view, okay? So we can put that and then we wanna say join my customer group and I don't even remember what picture I put in there. What picture did I put in there for join my customer group? Um, what did I put? Sorry. Customer specials, catalog. Oh, okay. Join my customer group was that one. Whoops. Okay. So now we're back on this one. Where is this one? Okay. 
So I just grabbed a graphic. Join my customer group. And put that there. Never miss an outlet sale. Let's mess with the spacing on that. Make it a little smaller so it fits on one line. And then put, we're going to click on this, hit copy. And click here. Okay. And then you can do copy again. And you can add a picture of the kit and say, become a consultant. Um, you can say whatever you want to say. We'll just leave that there and make that a different color so it pops. And then we want to add click here to order. Okay. So I don't want to, um, we're going to make another box. So we're going to use this box to cover all of this up. Okay. So we're just going to make a box, make it white. See, I covered it all up. And now we're going to say, Click here to order from, let's make that bold, we'll make that red and big, and then mess with the spacing, I always take spacing to like one something. Make that a little bigger. Order from Connie's party. We change the font. Make that bigger. Connie's party. Um, don't don't. We can delete this. Okay. And then we can add some kind of little picture at the bottom just to lighten it up. Okay, so click here from, okay. So now you have this beautiful little letter, right? So uh, now you click download and make sure it's PDF print and click download. So we're saving this uh, PDF right to our desktop. And we'll title this Connie. And then now we are going to uh, go over here. Whoops, sorry guys. We're gonna go over to issue, okay? And we're gonna click upload. Select file to get started. We're gonna click on Connie. Now, see, the cool thing is, once you have this template already done, all you have to do is come back here and change the name. For every hostess that you have, all you have to do is change the name. And once you have this, it's like gold because you can just change out the first and last um, slide with their name and save it again. So once you have it, it's okay. It's, it might take a little bit to do it, but it's not going to, it's not going to be that bad. I promise. Cause once you have that, you're, you're going to be able to edit this form in two seconds and save another one. Cause you go over here and you hit file, make a copy. And then now you can change this to Amy and change that Amy and go over here and hit Amy's party. See, now I can download and now I've got Amy's. So I'm making this for all of my hostesses today. 
Um, so you can see how easy it is once you have that template to go over here and create one for each and every hostess that you have. So now I'm going to save this one as Amy and I'm, go I'm good to go. And it is taking forever for Connie to upload. Okay, so now this is really important. So you want to title it Connie's 31 Gifts Party. And then here you want to put in a description because if you don't, it's going to have like an issue description and you don't want that. So Connie is hosting a 31 Gifts Party and we would love to show you some of the new holiday items. Um, click here to check it out. Um, then we're going to put um, include detected links and we're going to hit publish now. Got it? How cute. This is so much fun. There's so much that we can do with this. It's not even funny. So it's going to ask you what type of publication. This is promotion and marketing. And then um, you can click on share it socially. <clears throat> and it's going to give you her direct link to her file. Okay. So I want to go back to publications list. And we're going to find Connie's 31 party. And now we're going to edit it with the links. So we're going to click on links. And you can see it's going to pull up every page for you. Now, there's no links here. We're going to click on the second page. And this is November customer specials. So all you do is highlight this little box. It's already done for you pretty much. November customer specials right now it's going to pop up and say where do you want it to lead them so you have to go to your website logged out and click on what was that oh, where are we at uh customer special okay so you're going to click on november customer specials and copy this url at the top and go back over here and put it in it is so easy to do okay and then go over here view the catalog now you're just going to want to take them directly to your site, okay? And that is whatever that home page is, which I know that it's just that. Uh, so I'm going to go back here, hit done, okay? And then hit save on that, and then go to the next page. And this is join my customer group. So you go over here, you click that. And then we're going to go back here and go to your customer group and um, click that link at the top right here. Copy it. Go back to issue. Paste. Done. Bam. So easy. Okay. Become a consultant. You're going to highlight that. And then you're going to go to the join or the whatever enrollment page. On your website click that URL that is specific to that page go back there hit paste and done save okay now here's the the tricky click to order from Connie's party so now when you are logged in as a consultant you're gonna go over here you're gonna go to your virtual office you're going to find the party link for her, okay? So where's Connie? Where's Connie? Connie's not on there. Why is Connie? Not? Oh, she's a, a turkey trot. She's a turkey trot. Uh, so here is the link to her actual party. And we're going to hit copy. And then go back over here. And highlight this whole might as well hit this whole dang page and then paste that party link right there hit save okay we're done that was so easy so you click view and reader and you can see that here's her little thing and if you click on november specials it takes you to the specials 
if you click on view the catalog, it takes you, oh, I'm logged in again. Um, if you click on view the catalog, it'll take them right to my website. If you click on join my customer group, it's gonna take you to my customer group. If you click on become a consultant, it's gonna take you right to that page. How cool is this? Okay, and then click from Connie's where here's our party. Look at that. Okay, so how cool is that? Like, is this not the coolest thing that you have ever seen? Okay, so now there's a million different things that I can think of to use it, and I'm gonna contain my excitement, and I will be back to show you some other things that you can do. But if you love this, share it with your friends right now. Share, share, share and so that they can get in on these sales. But let's talk about why you want to do this in the first place. Because, okay, here's the deal. When somebody clicks, okay, so your, your hostess shares this. When someone clicks on this, they are cookied to you because they click to your site. It's all about the cookies. The cookies, the cookies, the cookies. Somebody send me some cookies. Uh, it's all about the cookies because now all of these people who click on these are going directly to your site, which means their computers are, are hooked to you. They're linked to you. So this is so important because if she is ever searching for anything regarding 31, she is, or your website, she is a company, she is going to be cookied to you and taken directly to your site. So this is very important to really uh, uh, get your name out there and get new customers, get them joining your customer group. I mean, there's so many things that I have in my head that I'm going to do with this on so many different levels, not just invitations and things like that, but um, you know, we can do a last chance to order. So we can create a, a format for last chance to order. Uh, and then we can allow our, our uh, hostesses to text this out to all of their friends. Cause let me tell you, it shows up better on mobile than it does on the computer. And uh, so we can send a, a, we can make a last chance to order one. Um, I I personally will be doing these for my team. So I'm going to create these beautiful PDFs that they all they have to do is upload and they won't be personalized, but they can personalize the link on their own issue account. So uh, they can really personalize it if they want, if they don't know how to do this or um, don't want to fool with it. But this is so easy to do. And with the Canva templates, I mean, uh, it, 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 they kind of do it for you. All you need is a few graphics to, to throw in there. And then uh, you can really go to town and have everybody sharing it. I just sent a fundraiser one out to the, uh, the person who's in charge of the fundraiser. And I said, okay, I want you to send this link out to every single parent and student and tell them to share it on Facebook and have everybody click through and order from that link. Tell them they can text it, tell them they can email it, tell them they can uh, post it on their Facebook pages and spread the word about their fundraiser. And it's so fun and easy and clickable. And oh my gosh, I'm just so excited about all of it. So uh, if you are too, share it with your friends and uh, I'm so excited. You will be seeing more of me when it comes to these issue links because it's kind of cool. Uh, the other thing that you can do with this is you can upload a PDF of your catalog and you can actually link the products in the catalog to your website. So it would be a clickable catalog that would take them directly to your website. And um, that's kind of incredible too. Now, I might be doing that with some mini catalogs. That full catalog is, would be a lot of work. It would take a lot of time to do that. Pay a teenager, get it done. Uh, but uh, that is definitely on the radar too. So um, Michaela asked, how many items can you upload to issue without paying? I want to say that it was 25, but I'm not sure. Uh, actually, I go in and delete last month, so I kind of um, 
always keep it down. I mean, I, I, there's enough that you can you can use it on the free account. So the only difference that I saw between the free account and the pay, paid account, and you do want to pay attention to, is the fact that there are banners at the bottom um, that are advertising advertisements. So uh, people, companies pay issue to advertise on their site on the free accounts. Now those will be banners that will be at the bottom of your document. So whatever you have in writing, like click here or you know the links that you want, make sure they're higher in the document. They're not at the bottom because uh, you don't want that banner to cover up the important information. So you will have a scrolling like little advertisement or whatever uh, at the bottom. It's not a big deal. They can click out of it, uh, but I don't want it to cover up whatever you're working on, the clickable link and, and stuff. So whatever it is, just make sure it's a little bit higher so it's not covered by that banner. Um, so yes, cookies, cookies, cookies. I'm so excited. Uh, so anyways, uh, this is, this is really exciting. Um, if I haven't said that before, I'm like a little kid on Christmas. This is like my Christmas present. Uh, so exciting. So anyways, I would love, uh, to hear what you think about it. Tell me what you think. I, I am, I'm, I'm thrilled. If you can think of any ideas uh, that are above and beyond this, I have some of my own and we'll be sharing soon. But uh, if you can think of anything else, uh, let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. I am going to be busy making my hostesses clickable uh, little documents to share all over Facebook today. So uh, I hope you guys will be busy too. And again, join us on uh, Directly Social. It's free group on Facebook. Just search for Directly Social and share this with your friends. Bye, guys.